Hello everyone, Man Faces here, and welcome back to Project Vault. So, I gotta say man, it's really starting to come together. We got a lot of light going on in here. I've had to spare no expense on the lighting, uh, just to make everything look right. I've been going with wall lights and ceiling lights. And I gotta say man, it's looking real cozy in here, real cozy. So I'm just gonna go and show everybody. We kind of are starting to put our light boxes and stuff in, but I'm gonna make sure I have a video for that stuff because I can understand that the placement and the wiring is weird. And if you guys want to see what's going on, uh, we're running mats to do everything. I'm using mats a lot. I really like mats. Mats and concrete pillars can <laughs> pretty much let you do whatever you want. But today we're not actually going to be down here we're headed up to the fourth floor because I finally found out what I wanted to put up here at the top and if you guys can already see it we're gonna make like a rec room up here because you know the guys in the vault they're gonna be downstairs for a really long time and they kinda still need the outdoor scenery so we have put shadow boxes in with paintings and the painting kinda did it it themselves with the glitching like that and from a distance it looks really sharp really sharp and if you guys see down there we've gone ahead and we've started to put in I don't know a little bit of a uh, scenery oh shit let's just take the elevator that's what we made it for now I will admit that it's a little awkward running through the vault because we're kinda of focused on using the elevators to get there I mean, still, man. Uh, did something happen? Did we stop? Whatever. I might have to remove this light. I might, I might have to remove that light. Nah, it looks fine. It looks fine. Okay, and so we're down here, we, we've gone ahead and put a little bit of artificial scenery in here. Just to make it look sharp, I'm gonna probably put something special in the middle there. Maybe, uh, I don't know, some guy in a business suit or something. And we're trying to get our decorations to match our background scenery. And if you guys notice, uh, we took the smart route, man. We built scenes and then we just sunk them into the wall. And we're gonna talk about all that today because we're doing this side. Awesome. Now, I do remember that we had like that cool little tunnel that we built uh, out here, but that's okay. We can go on ahead and do uh, something a little different with the shadow boxes over here. And if you notice, the tunnels, uh, they're going to serve a different purpose a little bit later. Okay, so let's go on ahead and get started because I think I've prepped everybody enough. All right, so basically we're just about to demolition. We're going to demo this side over here. I know it's painful and then we lost this whole uh, two floors okay but that's not too bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one side and then I'll fast motion the other side because uh, this one was a bit tricky I will say that it's a bit tricky to do uh, what we did okay so let's go on ahead and just take a look at what this really is it's just a corner with the wall okay but putting that corner in gets a bit tricky so let's go on ahead and add our corner just like that okay okay so you're tempted to probably want to go on ahead and put the wall bottom because that's what I would do I'd do the wall bottom and then I'd run my corner there we go good to go now, what you want to do is do the top as well. That's what I noticed. Like, if I could get this corner right, I could get all the corners right. Now, I do believe we're going to have to remove. Uh, oh, shit. That's okay. Excuse me. All right. So, I do believe that we're going to have to remove uh, these right here. And the reason it is, is because. Uh, yeah, our walls don't like to 
go where we want them to go. But what we're gonna do first is just build the room. And then I'm gonna show everybody like a little trick, okay? So I guess it's time to get to the fast motion. Okay, so now that we're here, I kind of want to talk to everybody about how did we make it work. Because you can see it's really clean right now, but if we try to put the last part, it won't allow us. And if it will allow you, it won't allow you to do it correctly. Like mine had uh, one silver and one painted, and I didn't like that. But if you notice, uh, it'll go correct over here. And the reason is, is because we don't have this here. Uh, so it's kind of like the concrete kit. If you guys watched my uh, concrete building preview, how sometimes you have to disassemble and reassemble. And there we go, man. We got our half of the shadow boxes. And then we just do the same thing for the top right here. And there, we're going to pop this up. flip our wall to make it nice and clean I like that this is awesome I'm really enjoying building project vault I was unsure if I was gonna like really really like it but man this is fun okay so now we need to go ahead and get ourselves a roof in here but it's gonna be a little tricky because of us doing what we did last time See if maybe we can find ourselves some type of snap point. Yeah, because there's some weird things like I learned something a little earlier. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but it, it's worked before. Okay, so let's see. Okay, yeah, so this gives us a, a roof over our shadow boxes. This is what I did on the other side. So I kind of had to change it. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Now, last time, what it did is it let me just sink a pillar into it. But I guess it's not going to let me do it this time. It's like, nah, buddy. Nah. It'd be nice if we could get something here, but I don't know. I'll probably have to just play with it and see what I can come up with. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can just, like, do this where I go like the there. done deal done deal and I'm gonna leave that I don't want to eat our space up although space isn't really an issue I was doing since we're just hanging out you know you guys can get the tips if you're like watching the video or whatever but I was using the trick where you uh, drop weapons and then store them in the workbench in order to get uh, settlement space right well it takes forever <laughs> I mean literally forever this place is a lot bigger than it seems that being said the lights and all the special touches have been eating up the settlement budget really fast but I don't care I'm budgeting on shrinking it twice I think before it's actually complete. All right, man. All right. Oh, we got another. We got ourselves another. Yeah, I will admit the walkways for a challenge. Okay, so let me go on ahead and finish this up. 
and then we'll go on ahead and decide uh well I'll look at you piper you're awesome on this display all right man I think we're done here let's just put our uh, last wall up and floor cool man cool I like it okay so now what we're going to talk about is how we're going to use mats to make life easier on ourselves when building our set decorations we also want a place to put some uh soda machines and like some tables because what i'm thinking is i'm thinking two space like chair and table sets right here and then a bank of soda machines right here but kind of sunk in the wall maybe with a table and a coffee pot and we're gonna use mats to do it now I know I have modded mats I just like the look of them but they're all the same and when we actually go through it I'll be using the regular mats so I'll see you guys in a bit Okay, so now that we have our shadow boxes set up, we want to go on ahead and give them their vistas. Now, for me, I tried to do two different type of vistas behind the, the big long shadow box. It just didn't look as good. I guess it was kind of just jarring how it would be a farm and then, uh, you know, go to the ocean. So regardless to say I mean it's up to personal preference but I tend to go with one big also there's not really enough uh, large paintings so uh, you know you kind of got to work with what you got okay so this is how it works you can only really see up to a certain point in the shadow boxes so you want to kind of place your painting low uh, I usually use this as a, a leveling um, we're on the wrong side Okay, and we need to be on the middle. I guess it would be the opening where the elevator is. Okay, now uh, what we want to do is just kind of sink the painting in and crossing it at uh, the ends of the frame. That way there's not too many frames in it. The reason we started in the middle was because uh, it gives us a nice like if you notice see it's separating but it's separating at the right points and it, it's a little time consuming I won't, I won't I won't you know since I'm only building this vault once uh, it's gonna actually be a lot cooler than most of my other builds because normally what I do is I build it for myself and then I just be like oh well, let me make a video but, okay Wow, this painting's pretty big. 
I don't like that corner, but the only thing I could do is this. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Because this... Th Actually, that's pretty sharp, man. Because you don't want that corner exposed. When we get outside to look at it, you'll see that uh, these meeting points are really important to give the illusion. And like I said, this is kind of just an idea. I kind of stumbled upon this because, you know, I, I was already making like the shadow boxes, but I, I didn't expect the paintings to. Uh... Oh, man, I guess we got to center ourselves. Yeah, I didn't expect the paintings to kind of do whatever I wanted. Uh, I guess these are these are larger than the other ones. So we're going to have to probably do something a little different here. I guess I'll just bring it back some. It's no biggie. There we go. That's cool. Yeah, we're a little we're a little tight in here. I will admit we are a little tight in here. But that's all right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna probably do uh, the other ones on my own, and I'll get a little bit of a fast motion in it because that's always cool. Yeah. I like it, man. Let's check it out from outside. Oh, look at that, man. Home on the plains. There you go. See, you know, we got our mountains. We got our tropical. We've got our farm. And down there, hmm. I don't know. I have to check it out. Alright, so now that we have the paintings looking pretty sharp, uh, let's go ahead and get some set dressing back there. Now, you can just go behind the wall and place them, but the problem is, is that a lot of that stuff does not like to be placed near the walls. So, what we're doing now is we're making ourselves uh, a mat track. Okay, I uh, will see. Let's take this, move it up just a hair. And as you notice, the mats, you know, they kind of just move with themselves. This is something that's been around for a super, super, super long time. But it's just going to help you get it how you want it to be. Okay. And then we can take the whole thing and we can slide it all the way underneath there. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go on ahead and put things. Um... For me, I try to put things that are like, uh, kind of like my paintings, but I don't want to take up too much time on this. Let's see, there's a whole bunch of buoys. Man, I could have got these buoys down for the bottom. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. Nuka clocks. Ooh, some Edatrons. A clean Edatron at that. I might, I might, I might, I don't know. This is supposed to be like a cafeteria. Let's just go to our decorations miscellaneous. See if we can find us a plant. It's too bad there are no like uh, pine trees. Let's see. It's autumn in there. Hmm. Maybe something with a weird color. Um, I do have some modded plants that came from Eleonora. Uh, I'm not going to use them though. I mean they're nice and all but that's okay. We like to challenge ourselves. All right, everything looks kind of dead in there, but then at the same time, we really don't have much. Ah, uh, shit. No nope. vegetable baskets. Gore bags. Yeah, I used some of these on the other side. I don't think fish. Maybe some tannery racks. <laughs> 
Man. Oh, yeah, I used some stereos one time. Those are pretty cool. Uh, all right, we'll go with some stereos then. We'll put some stereos. Um, yeah, sorry. And then we'll go with, I guess, some plants. Some type of plant. I don't know. I hope they come out with some more plants. That'd be nice. Just more decorations, period. I mean, there are some, but I mean, it still leaves much to be desired. I think we're going to have to go with some of these dead plants, honestly. Yeah, I'm thinking the dead plants might give it a, a sense of just, like desolateness if that's if that's even a thing <laughs> hey, let's try to line up our speakers just a bit I don't know what speakers have to do with uh, farming but now I could have planted some razor grain back there that actually This is nice. This is a nice setup. I wonder if I could use it somewhere else. Maybe by the lake. Ooh, I like it by the lake. I like it by the lake. Okay, so we'll save that setup for the lake. And that's why I use the, uh, the carpets all shit. <laughs> Guess I'll have to fix that. But that's no biggie. Okay, so let's put some more uh, mats down. We can just make like entire scenes. Now for this one, I think I'm gonna try to actually plant razor grain. Uh, the good thing about razor grain is that it's already going to look grown, although uh, it won't be grown. So we'll probably just fast motion this right. one. So we got all our shadow boxes pretty much finished up. I didn't want to put too much inside of them because of you know just space constraints. I like that razor grain on the farm though. That's pretty nice. Okay, so now that we have them where we want them, we can go on ahead and retract our rugs. Okay, so I'm gonna take... Okay, I guess I ended up taking all of the rugs. There we go. I was going to say to leave some rugs, but it just didn't work out like that. So that's fine. Let's just go on ahead and take up the rugs because we're pretty sure in our placement. I had a bit of an error here, it decided not to let me fix it, so I decided not to worry about it. Ah, okay. oh, shit, I fucked up. Damn. Oh, look. Oh, look, we fucked up. So it doesn't seem like they want the rugs, but that's okay. I think we can just get back there and replace the razor grain. Yeah, because the garden plot stayed, so that's fine. Alright. Yeah, man, this is looking pretty much finished. So, I guess the last thing I want to do is go on ahead and get my soda machines down. So, let's just get us some rugs. Uh, space here is tizite. So, what we're probably going to do is we're going to put us the rug here. Uh... I guess we're gonna need to do this in reverse, so we're gonna need us a uh, rug here, and then we move this one here. Uh, I guess we'll just go with a double. That should be alright. Hopefully, it doesn't glitch us out, but I think it'll be okay. All right, let's try to find us some soda machines. I know there's a Vim Pop machine. Okay, there's a milk. There's a milk machine, so we can go on ahead and put our milk machine in. Now what we can do is we can cheat a whole bunch. So let's just put our milk machine down, okay? Now we want to get our Nuka-Cola machine in. Will it fit next to our milk machine? No, it won't. It's going to be a jerk. So what we're probably going to have to do is get another rug. Go back to the Nuka Cola machine, put it on the Nuka Cola machine, and I believe, yeah, it'll let us grab the Nuka Cola machine. And then we just put the Nuka Cola machine wherever it is we want it, which is right next to, okay, that looks like garbage though. Alright, let's see. 
Hey, I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay, now let's get us a Vimpop machine because, you know, we're awesome. Our vault's been here since the beginning, so we knew about Vimpop and all that cool stuff. Right, so we got ourselves a Vim. Man, that Vimpop machine looks bad. <laughs> But that's all right. Let's give ourselves another rug. Grab the Vim machine. Plop it down as straight as we can. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and try to sink the Vim machine in just a hair. Oh, sharp. I like that. I like that. Okay, now if my calculations are correct, we should be able to pick the whole thing up and sink it inside. Ah, um, oh yeah, man, I like that. It might be crooked. It might be crooked. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get it in further. Oh yeah, let's 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 tuck it in because the cool part about living in a vault is you can't see any of the stuff on the outside. Okay, so when you're like official with your placement, then you can go on ahead and take your mats away. Ah, oh, and it glitched me out hardcore. Hardcore. Let's see if we can take the rug away and fix it. Nope. So the Nuka-Cola machine decided that it just did not like uh, what we were doing. And it decided to glitch out. So we're going to just have to baby the Nuka-Cola machine and do it on its own, which is fine. Let's get two mats for this. I don't, I don't feel like uh, having to redo it. I do that all the time. So we'll just spin it. We will line up the Nuka-Cola machine. Come on, don't do this like that. Don't do me like that. That's bad enough you decided to go on ahead and hate the Nuka Cola machine. We should have just not put you in. Ah, but you look awesome, sir. And you still won't work. I wonder why you keep falling. Maybe you need to be out a little bit more. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out, and then we'll put us another one in there. I think I need to get me a table with some coffee there too, so I guess I'll see you guys in the fast motion. All right, man, looks like we did it. I've gone ahead and set up just one area how I think I want it. Look at Piper, so aesthetic, I like it. Got ourselves some Eatatrons up here. This is really just like a snack station and a rest area for the guys who are working the main area of the vault. We're going to put a real cafeteria and a real kitchen in a little bit later in some of the other modules. But for now, uh, I think this is a great use of the space that we have up here. It just makes it feel like you can come up here, you can take five, you can relax, eat some snacks, do it up big. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care everyone.